What's up YouTube, Kyron back up in here with another video and today we have a very special video. This is going to be a new series that I'm gonna be starting up on the channel where I focus in on highlighting emerging designers and their entire collections. When they put out a quality body of work, I feel like this is a great style of video to really get you guys into the mentality of what these designers are thinking, some of the beautiful product that they're putting together and just really that world building that I always continually talk about on this channel, just really get into the minds of the artists at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So really excited to put together this video for you guys and the brand that we're gonna to be highlighting today is Carton. So Carton officially launched in 2017 and its main focus was the emphasis on technical garments and also all of the products are mainly gender neutral so it could be either unisex, men or women could wear it, whatever you want to do, you guys could tap in. So it really is an, an inclusive brand. Also the makeup of the brand is it's 100% black owned which is something that I literally love so much. I love being able to support the community and really like tap into that code because I feel like black creators are doing such amazing things right now to support this and really propel that business I'm just all for that and then also the whole chain line is minority ran so it's just really really sick to see front to back it's just like uplifting the community you know and the brand is also based in LA so one of my favorite places so we're just gonna keep on tapping into all the greatness about this brand before we crack into the clothes because I'm gonna like wear the clothes and talk about it while while I have it on so you guys will be like in a different setting get a bit more context so when one of the things that I really love about Carton is that it just is a very inclusive brand. As I said before, they have a genderless size range. And then also just like, they wanna bring forward new styles that cater to such a wide audience that it covers every type of individual, no matter what your gender, your race, anything. It's just everyone can participate in the brand. So it very much taps into a global approach, which I really am all for. For people that share the same values and perspectives, a lot of Carton's collections are like thought provoking and they really like, want you to envision the perspective that they bring you into with the brand so we're gonna get into the details of this specific collection that they just launched and you guys will understand a lot more so the current collection is titled militancy against hate and this concept is derived around the idea of militancy which is defined as the use of controversial or aggressive methods in support of social or political causes so this concept of like the collection is so sick is basically so this is really sick I like like the fact that they came up with this is insane. The collection occurs in like a future world where the government is trying to prioritize ending, well, is prioritizing ending hatred via military efforts. So basically allocating funds to researching what makes people happy and investing in actual pure culture. So it's a very futurist collection. A lot of things are gonna be visionary, things that you really haven't seen before. So the cuts are gonna be different, a lot of different textures, visual appeal. So all of that's gonna be encompassed in this collection. So you're gonna be able to see all of that when I'm trying out the pieces. The whole collection was produced in LA and the materials are sourced from like all around the world. And on top of it, every piece that was released from the collection is below 100 units for each garment so you're gonna be like having a very limited run of what you buy into with this collection which is really sick so everyone feels very a part of something you know it's gonna be a small batch limited run very exclusive so if you want to tap in it's the time to tap it I'm going to be breaking down every single piece that they sent me from this collection they pretty much sent me the whole range so I'm gonna be putting it together in outfits and I'm gonna be giving you small little details about each garment and then you guys will just be able to see the whole collection and my perspective on everything so top notch i'm gonna see you guys in the next clip where i'm able to like actually break down the whole fit because you can't you guys can't see the whole fit right now so we're gonna go into the next box we got three of these big old boxes to crack into amazing packaging i just wanted to make sure you guys got a little sneak peek into what the packaging looks like and what you would be experiencing if you buy into the collection beautiful beautiful packaging give you a nice little sticker Ooh. Nice little sticker situation there. And then they seal it off with a great little paper. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in for you guys right there. Yeah, nice little paper. And then you can tear that apart. And then you get all of your garms inside of there. So I'm gonna crack into all of these and give you guys a nice little review breakdown. My fault, I completely missed this while 
well it, i was just holding the whole box so i wasn't able to actually get into the nitty gritty but got these nice little extras before i tap into the whole collection might as well show you guys the, the little the whoop de whoops that they throw in there so they got this nice whoop. Oh, they got this nice carton carabiner that they send put your keys on and then also this like bottle cap opener gender neutral riot wear right wear right wear that's a sick ass slogan really dope they should throw that on a t or something that'd be hard but yeah good accessories and that's just that's just the chuck-ins right there not even the clothes yet it's gonna be crazy all right so here we have the first piece from the collection excuse my creaky ass floors but we're gonna jump into the first hoodie this is the floriculture full zip hoodie so the reference for this was obviously like the early 2000s full zip hoodies made very famous by like babe bbc that whole spiel and this features that same ordeal right here so you could fully zip the hoodie all the way to the top which i can't really do because i'm wearing a cap but you could see what we going what we got going on right here you can see that detail sorry if i'm all up in your grill but i'm trying to show you guys what it do of course and then at the front we got the card in rubberized little hit on the front chest the pocket really good french terry just wanted to show case that to you guys as well really good to the touch super soft and then it features this very like lilac color and the back hit is one of the coolest things basically the reference is how we as a society compare ourselves it's basically like our focus on how we determine success and how we like compare ourselves to one another and how instead like we should just give each other flowers so that's what this back hit is all about really cool back graphic i love the detail of this screen print very intuitive sorry if you weren't able to hear me because my back was faced another way but yep really solid full zip hoodie great for the springtime a uh, really solid color for what we're about to experience with spring so definitely a great addition to the collection so the next piece we got here is the ambassador fleece this actually draws inspiration from like the 70s and 80s uh civil rights movement and obviously like a lot of other and other protest patches that were around at that time so they incorporated that onto like a military piece you guys are seeing like how it's tied in with the collection based on like the militancy the military pushing that narrative forward so that's what we got going on over here so really nice patches all around i like how they did the contrast of texture because it breaks it up with the fleece it's super soft but then this it kind of gives it a bit of a sheen then that front zipper closure you could button up each little compartment as well and then here give you a little detail of each patch here a few more down here as well more here too on the arms, nice little stash pocket here as well. Boom. And here too. It's just a really great navy. And then also how they set it off with the other notes of blue. Goes nice with my outfit right now as well. And I have good side pockets, always need that. The comfy little fleece. This is gonna be great in the fall. Spring, it might be a little hot, but with Canada, it's so unpredictable. It's literally still cold out here. So I can wear this right now fully as my jacket and I'd be good to go. But yeah, I really love this. It's a great addition to the Canadian boy wardrobe. <laughs> so this is the platoon puffer, one of the more obvious military references. It references the M65 jacket that's very popular in obviously military apparel and like surplus, all of that. This takes a modern take to it, obviously. Gives it almost, I find the way that they dress this up makes it more in the breadth of some of the Japanese brands that I've seen, which I really love. The, the cut is very flattering to the body uh, and just very contemporary temporary overall love this i love that they're using navy because honestly they made me like navy a lot more i was never the biggest navy guy I'm talking from a guy with a navy hat on but personally i love the way that they used it as a base color for the collection because you don't really see that too often especially in military apparel which i like i, I love and unless it's like uh french army obviously but this is just really nice i love the quilting padded has these straps here with d-rings so you could wrap it up cross get that full coverage and you can also button it up but i kind of like it with just like the frills i like the way that it just dangles personally i don't think i would ever close it but really love the, how massive the pockets are as well just like a really great staple jacket in the transitional seasons either spring or fall definitely going to keep you nice and cozy that lining is a beautiful accent blue as well see more of those details with the straps mm. 
bang, super tough. Love this. Neckline is very flattering too. So that's the platoon puffer. Bang. So this right here is the Pilot Parka. This was a reference to the North Face Steep Tech jacket, uh, which was made very popular in the DMV area. But what they wanted to do is like take that concept and then tie it in with the theme of the rest of the collection, which is like military and like really militarized the jacket, if that makes sense. Uh, so it's a great pairing of the two. That's something that I really love about Karin is that they're referencing and then also just the seamless nature of the whole collection. It just really makes sense. So out of a lot of the emerging designers that I've seen and worked with or anything like that, this is probably the most cohesive collection that I've seen in a very, very long time. So I just wanted to give them their flowers for that. Really well constructed jacket, by the way, too. I would probably wear it open, but it's definitely a bit more, you would recognize it a lot more once it's zipped because it has this double zip situation. You could zip it on either way, that makes sense. And you could also belt it up here in the middle if you wanna have it a bit more techy. that makes sense. Sense. So I'm gonna zoom in here so that you guys can see everything that I'm talking about a lot more. So you got all of these details right here, the double zip, as I said before, they're both rubberized in a way, like kind of has like a seamless nature so no water could get into the zipper portion. Got this rubberized little logo hit in the center. And if you undo this, a really nice detailed buckle. And then it carries over onto the, the sleeves as well. Lots of great attention to detail here. Let me unzip. And then this is how I would wear it. It's just a bit more layered. You can see a bit more of the dimension of the outfit. This is something that I love to do. You guys know I'm a layering king. Love to get in some good layering. So this is how I would pair up this jacket. Pilot Parka. All right, so this is the Cocoon Crew Bomber. Like I said, very cohesive. The whole collection just makes a lot of sense. So this crew neck, what they wanted to do is add the military elements to the like the freedom and like just the liveliness of what the collection embodies in its entirety and really pairing those two natures together. And then with this, you could clearly see that it's just like a very vibrant color, the front graphic, free love. But then what they did to bring in the military elements is they took the ruching that you would typically see on an MA-1 bomber jacket and they added it to the sleeves of the crew neck, which is really, really sick. I don't think I've ever seen something like this. And it gives it a very elevated, like almost avant-garde uh, drapery to the sleeve. So yeah, it just gives it a lot more depth, a lot more texture. You could see the drapery of the fabric on the arm, which is really cool. And then it balances out to a regular crew neck, but something that's so sick, which I love, most crew necks should do this, are side pockets. I love walking around with my hands in my pockets or just having pockets in general. They sold me with that. Love, love, love that they have these two side pockets. That's like game changer, I love that. And then the back has a very well embroidered graphic. It's just like huge, such a great high quality back embroidery, as you can see. Lots of attention to detail on that joint right there. And yeah, like I said before, you could get a little zoom in action here. On the free love, boom, bada bing. Able to see that. I can already tell that my girlfriend Megs, she's probably gonna steal this from me because this is her favorite color. Pairing is of colors too, like pink and this kind of like tealy, seafoam, greeny blue. I know, I know already what's going down. <laughs> All right, so this is gonna be a full head to toe carton look. As you can see, your boy got the hiker core on real quick. I feel like with stuff like this, people get a little like shy or insecure about wearing like leggings or anything like that. I don't find these feminine at all. Like I work out in compression pants all the time. So one thing that's really a part of carton and a part of my own values and ethos is that like, I feel like people should get more comfortable floating in between what is deemed to be like a gender specific garment. And I think like leggings really elevate a lot of looks and I, I could see myself bringing it into some of my sporty attire in the summer. Sometimes when I wanna go on a hike, but still be fashionable and carry out and do some things later on with friends or like activities, anything, just hanging out. I feel like putting a legging with a nice little short would be something that I would do and that's exactly what they've done with these two items these are two items that they cater specifically to fit for both men and women and just like it's supposed to be very inclusive so i just wanted to touch on that and i thought they were really sick so why not show them to you guys real quick just want to show you guys these are the hiking short 
that they made. Nice length on them too, like they hit right above the knee. So like not too short, but not too long. Great hue of blue as well, matches perfectly with the top, but we'll touch on that in a second. And then the three pocket legging, uh, which is supposed to fit both men and women, depending on what size you go for, of course. Really love these hiking shorts. I will definitely be wearing these a lot in the summertime that's coming up. So I'm really excited to break those out. With this top, the premise of it is so sick. So I kind of saved the best for last. Basically in the world that the militancy collection lives in, the black pad, this is just the, the concept that they built around just a piece like this. And obviously there's a multitude of stories attached to every single garment, but I love the story that's attached to this one. So in this world that they created for the collection, the Black Panther Party's educational programs evolve into like collegiate institutions. So that's what this top is supposed to commemorate. Basically, it's supposed to be like a jersey that they would have wore for that conceptual world that we're talking about here. So I just love that they're able to actually have some story, have some depth with the collection and they fully thought this out, you know? Like it's not just slapping a logo on a tee, like there's actually some thought and depth into all of these clothes, you know? So I just thought that was really sick. You could see the whole graphic right here, Panther Party, and it's nice and cropped. I went for a larger size so that the crop's not too, too intense, but I feel like this suits me a lot more because it hits me right at my waist. So I feel a bit more comfortable that way. So if you think of doing the same, you could also do that. So yeah. And this top is called the Seal and Newton Academy Jersey. And obviously it's named after the, the founders of the Panthers. So that's where the referencing comes from for this jersey real quick. So really, really fire. So all of that was just, I was blown away. This is an insane collection. I definitely recommend you guys taking a moment and checking out what they have because it's truly special. I love supporting black businesses and black designers in particular. They've done an amazing job with just like the depth, the storytelling, uh, the construction of the garments, the color board, everything. Everything is just great. The website is beautiful as well. If you guys go on the website, you'll be able to see how intuitive it is. Like if you move your cursor on the screen, you'll just see like how interactive the site is. And it's just a really great experience. So I highly recommend you guys going and checking out this collection and everything else that they do in the future, because it's going to be nothing short of greatness. Uh, and I'm just super happy to have been working with them. And I hope you guys are loving some of the pieces like right down in the comment section below, which was your favorite. My personal two favorites would probably have to be the platoon puffer or these hiking shorts just because i know i'm going to get plenty of wear out of both of them also the leggings this combo is fire i'm definitely going to be wearing this i'm a big leggings and short type of guy i work out in leggings and shorts all the time uh, when i am working out so this is probably going to be like my hiking outfit when i go out on a little hike on the mountain i'm going to be wearing this <laughs> thank you guys once again for watching the video i really appreciate it and i hope you guys enjoyed make sure to go follow the boy on instagram g-o-t-s-w-e-i-g-e is where you can keep up to date with me more frequently i post fit pics this and that. So that's what you can check out on there. Also follow the boy on TikTok and every other social media will be linked in the description box below alongside all of Carton's information. So yeah, thank you guys for watching the video once again. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.